iQoo has launched the Z9 series, which includes three phones, the iQoo Z9, iQoo Z9X, and iQoo Z9 Turbo. I'll be sharing the unboxing and performance tests of all three phones with you today. Hey guys Mikey from Tech Makey, please consider the subscribing and turning on the notifications by hitting that bell icon for more amazing tech videos. The iQoo Z9 series comes in different colors for each model. The iQoo Z9 is in starry white with a 12GB RAM and 512GB storage variant. The iQoo Z9 Turbo comes in green and boasts the highest specs with 16GB RAM and 512GB storage. Lastly, the iQoo Z9X is in dark night color, featuring a 12GB RAM and 256GB storage variant. I've already uploaded detailed reviews of the iQoo Z9 Turbo and iQoo Z9X. You can find the links in the description below. Make sure to check them out. In this video, I'll be comparing the performance of all three phones. Now, let's remove the plastic from the boxes. Friends, the iQoo Z9X is soon going to be launched in global market, and this is confirmed because I've seen teasers on the website. All three phones come with different colors and textures. The first one is the iQoo Z9, which comes in white. The back of the phone has a slightly glossy finish and is made of plastic. It's lightweight, weighing only 195 grams. Next up is the iQoo Z9 Turbo, which comes in green. The back of the iQoo Z9 Turbo has a matte texture, giving it a good grip when held. It also has a plastic back, just like the other models. In the white color variant, you'll find glossy ceramic-like textures. All three phones have a plastic frame and their designs resemble iQoo's flagship phone, the iQoo 12 series. Moving on to the iQoo Z9X, it comes in black. The phone has a flat back and frame, with a matte finish on the back. The back reflects light, giving it a shiny appearance. If you're asking for my preference between the iQoo Z9X and Z9 designs, I'd lean towards the Z9. When you look at the front of the phone, it appears flat. The iQoo Z9X has a 6.72-inch LCD display, while the Z9 and Z9 Turbo have a slightly larger 6.78-inch AMOLED display. The significant difference here is that the Z9X uses an LCD display, while the other two phones have AMOLED displays. In terms of box contents, the Z9X comes with a 44W charger, whereas the Z9 and Z9 Turbo include an 80W charger. Now, let's look at the performance tests of all three phones. The iQoo Z9X comes with a Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 processor, the iQoo Z9 features a Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 processor, and the Z9 Turbo boasts an 8S Gen 3 processor. Interestingly, the Z9 Turbo stands out with an independent display chip, a feature not present in the other two models. This processor is also expected to be featured in the upcoming global release of the Poco F6, for which I've already uploaded an unboxing and detailed review video. You can find the link in the description below. You can check the Antutu running scores for all three phones. The iQoo Z9X scores around 5.35 locks, the iQoo Z9 scores around 8.51 locks, and the iQoo Z9 Turbo scores over 1.51 million. So, there's a significant performance difference among the three. Speaking of cameras in the iQoo Z9 series, all three phones come with a 50 megapixel primary camera. However, only the iQoo Z9 Turbo supports optical image stabilization. The secondary camera on the Z9 Turbo is an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, while the Z9 and Z9X have a 2 megapixel depth camera. You can see the base variant prices of all three here. So, what you guys think about it? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section below if you have any questions. Also give this video a thumbs up and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well as me signing off thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep smiling and I will see you in the next one.